Hey guys, welcome to this episode of the Go Mango Toku Cast. I'm your host, the Frozen Stratos. Here with me today we have the Cinder Blaze. Oh my god! Yep. Fin- <laughs> finally happening. Elsa Stranger's here. <laughs> and Maka- and and me, Makatoa. Michael, the lack of reaction. It's <laughs> like go on, like you guys don't give a shit. <laughs> like I <was> Guys! <laughs> friggin' welcome back! I dropped it. We uh the, we've got the full cast here ready to record the our thoughts on the latest episode of Uchisenta Q Ranger Space Twenty Six. Um oddly enough, this is our full group return and their full group split up episode. Mm. So uh let's dive right in uh let's i don't know uh let's throw it off to alex see what his thoughts were um at least maybe before this because you haven't been here in a while well like it's been a while since i've watched the other episodes so i'm kind of just gonna start with like the end of last episode where kotaro like meets his mom and Mm. Had a lot of screen time with no real, (laughs) 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 yeah, no real effect, honestly. But yeah, despite that, we did get something from Naga, where like everyone would get something you know related to like their desires or their emotions, Mm. and he got nothing, and he got super bitter about that, which is kind of an emotion in itself. But Mm -hmm. yeah, (laughs) it carries over this episode, and yeah. And I liked it. Yeah. yeah. And, and his, like, because he gets so little, I feel like he doesn't have hefty speaking roles, but he did this episode, and it was really good. I mean, uh, up until he got the new powers, I thought it was pretty stellar. Like, pretty spot on. Some pretty good acting from him. I, um... I enjoyed the powers, probably. I'm sure you like, did. Like, <laughs> I mean, he he did start, like, uh, going unhinged at points, but that's uh-huh. kind of understandable, especially is. since it this is. is, like, it's not it's not all Naga. We we, we know that. I mean, it's, it's yeah, kind of obvious no. that this isn't all him. This is also, like, a mm-hmm. lot of kind of evil and, and yeah, emphasis yeah. on the negative from the, from the villain. So, like, I can, I can get past those those kind of outbursts and stuff yeah and and... see like i i initially um i i was really i I thought this episode was going to be a bit dubious because of uh how he was going to be acting in this episode because uh i said it last episode i don't like the way dan kuroto operates and it felt like some of that was translating here and some of it did from uh, x-aid in case you know People. I'm pretty sure more people are watching <laughs> X-Aid than they are Q-Ranger. But yeah, uh, Dan Kuroto from X-Aid. And um, I got... I felt some notes of of Dan Kuroto, but uh, it is it is helped because it is contextualized behind... Yeah, it's kind of somewhat evil, and yeah, it is more of an extreme rather than his status quo. Mm-hmm. So I'm okay with it. Okay, I'm going to defend um, Dan just a little bit here. He's kind of, okay. like, embraced the full meanness. That's just his character. So, mm-hmm. like, whenever he does shit like that, it's completely t- contextualized because that's just who he is. And I'm just like, I'm fine with whatever outburst he does. We're talking about Q-Ranger right now. And for this one... Well, no. I mean, like, I-, I was making the comparison because, like, I didn't know whether I was going to be on board with this or not. But because... Uh, of the circumstances he is in, I am more okay with it than I would be if it was his status quo sort okay. of thing. All right. You know what I mean? Uh, speaking of status quo, um, Hammy breaks it significantly. She actually starts, like, trying to help, you know, a fellow Q-Ranger out for once. You know? Yeah, and be right. part of the plot. <laughs> like, actually, <laughs> actually be useful. And then fail. Oh, yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Well, like, hey, you know, character growth. I yeah, mean, it is. It absolutely. Is, it sucks. It 100% sucks. And, oh, you know who else friggin' brought it this episode? Tenbin Gold. Yeah. Friggin' holy crap. I, anytime. Oh, man. Just. 
because he is so like deeply connected and we know that he's all about happiness and having fun yeah. and being uplifting and stuff so it made like all of all of his actions and everything made sense everything was in character i don't know why to me that felt so special because it shouldn't be that characters are in character <laughs> but i feel like he's been the most consistent and it's the most fulfilling mm -hmm. because you, I don't know. You Finally, know we get to see this other side his of him. Laughter. That's the thing. Yeah. Like he's trying. I mean, to sit, we, he's trying to put on a face so that he can like look on the bright side. But at the same yeah, time, yeah. And we've he's, we've he's, seen he's, it before. Yeah. We've seen it before in the uh, birthday episode. <laughs> oddly <laughs> enough, uh, and you know what? Also, that episode was kind of a a slowed down sort of filler episode. This. While it wasn't filler, we definitely slowed down. You know, we got time to talk for them to talk. We got time to really focus in on Naga's frustration that's been building. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, so that's great. And and also going back to Hammy, um, it's like you said, you're correct. Like that whole it's character development. Yeah, she failed, and I I love that execution where like Naga's like, but you're the one who told me to think for myself, and then. Oh, I don't know that that the way you know uh, Hammy just had to take was taken aback yeah. by that. I I mean it's like yeah you kind of just ate your words right there didn't you? Mm -hmm. And now she feels guilty and sort of responsible for it, which I mean that drives her character to try and help him, which I'm I'm glad that she has something going on for her now. Yeah, yeah, yeah and like uh, one of the problems I had with Key Ranger in the past was like when they had like a climactic moment, they didn't set it up. And this one, like, mm -hmm. you know, the talks that Hammy was having with Naga beforehand, I mean, like, she was genuinely trying to help. I mean, it's kind yeah. of confused that she was the one doing it, but, you know, mm -hmm. I guess it made, is her time to actually, you know, start speaking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and like, and, like, the sincereness that she kind of, like, put into, like, all of her little speeches just kind of backfired mm -hmm. so hard, and she's just like, oh, crap. And when Naga was, like, super angry with her, in that confrontation right before he turns in like dark naga whatever mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. i felt the emotion off of him as well so like that scene was played real well i mean it was yep. a bit like cheesy at times but like i felt like there was you know a satisfactory arc in this episode i mean i felt so. it was a lot better done than the kotaro mother stuff we got last episode. yeah no because oh, okay. like <laughs> that <laughs> the... mother real uh real convincing yeah, yeah what well, that mother <laughs> Well, pretty though. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, wow. But like, I I will say like this episode, I I don't know why, I don't know why they decided to do this episode way better than the one before it. Because you'd think that they'd put all all their chips into the the fanfare episode, right? But um, I feel like all the problems I had with the previous episode um just a rushed story set up and mm -hmm. uh you know concluded in one thing uh and it fell flat but here we get uh set up the previous episode and then coming to a head here and ending on a pretty depressing note it, it's it, not even over yet too yeah no i know it it felt uh, I, oh man this is this, this is a this is a percolating thought right now it's not really you know anything major right now okay. but i'm thinking like last episode was kind of the new hope this episode i was, was thinking more that Vampire Strikes i was Back. so thinking that too I'm, yeah okay all right i, I didn't want to say it because i mean i thought it was a stretch for myself to, to think that but when when they were like all splitting up and everything you know and yeah it's, don't worry we'll get han back yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and they're all doing a different you know mission and stuff it's just like oh, mm -hmm. okay mm-hmm yeah, no, it's pretty good. Like, the division this episode is great. And the next episode, it looks like more fun than it is serious. And honestly, I'm game. I'm mm -hmm. I'm 100% game for that. Yeah. I mean, like, you can't just, like, <laughs> stay in a depressing arc for too long, especially in Sentai. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, you, you have to because, oh boy, oh boy, Premium Bandai made a good old toy for that. So they gotta <laughs> make sure to sell it right to kids. That dark, don't you want that dark Seiza Blaster? Only at Premium Bandai. 
You want it in America? Mm, not sure you're gonna get it. Uh, <laughs> It'll actually, be hard. Actually, one thing I'd like to, like to say though, I really like mm. the voice for the dark blaster. Is is it the is it different? Dark it's not galaxy. Different. Yeah, it, yeah, it's different. It's, it's probably the okay. same, like it's you know, the, voice it's actor. The same guy, yeah, yeah, but he yeah. Says it differently, and I, I like the diff- the way he says mm-hmm. it. It's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool Kyutama, uh, or Kyutama, uh, the says a blaster. Yeah. Um, yes. What do you guys think about his new form? They need to put some like... budget into that, dude. Like that could have yeah. been like <laughs> way better. <laughs> They could have done have. cool mm-hmm. shit with that. Yeah. Uh, and, like, they had a really good start with it, too. So it's not, like, totally, you know, lackluster. Uh-huh. The main mm-hmm. thing I don't like about it is just the colors. Like, weird, yeah. like, magenta and yellow. I'm like, yellow, yeah. I, it was silver I, of all things. I was like, eh, this is... I think it would be a better say... combination if there was more of it than just having it mm-hmm. look like it's kind of... It's just kind of, like... Stapled you know, on, stapled on to yeah. his regular suit. It's it's not as right. much as a, a well. I mean, look at look at look at the forms that Lucky's gotten so far. It's just the Pegasus, yeah, uh, shield like chest shield that immediately deteriorated, <laughs> and the um the sun and moon form. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's... that's just a helmet change. So I mean, honestly, this is I I suppose the most change so far I, and uh, i will say i like everything around it more than i like the actual suit hmm. i love the new name what was it like hebit sky metal yeah that was cool holy crap that's a cool name uh cool. and then the fact that and like as we were watching it i know alex you touched on this but it this is like the first time in i don't know how long when uh, a ranger outside of the red ranger gets a a their own specific like unique form new form yeah like one that they didn't really have to share with the rest of exactly. the rangers i think yeah. wait i think uh gokai silver had his like gold mode but he that's was, what like, i was thinking yeah. he was right. a sixth ranger you know like mm-hmm. kinda... but this is like just any random like black or green you know yeah. He's technically like the he's this he's this he's the color of what a typical sixth ranger would be, silver or gold, right? But yeah. he doesn't feel like he's a sixth ranger. He feels like he's no like he's team. R- the the quote end quote sixth ranger would be Ho O soldier. Yeah. Or um, or, yeah. Uh, or Ryu Commander. Yeah, or Ryu Commander. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Huh. So I mean like it since I don't know, it feels different and I like it. Yeah, the changes that Q Ranger is making, I like it. Not all of them hit that well. This one hit. Mm-hmm. This one hit, uh, except for like it stumbled a bit with the design, design but yeah. it definitely everything else around it, all the decisions made for this form and this arc in general mm-hmm. for Naga hit like hundred percent. I am on board for the rest of whatever we're gonna see oh, with this arc. oh one 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 thing we've got we gotta talk about well just talk about a little bit the weird little tongue and eye thing that happened whoa, <laughs> whoa. That, not that, expected not that was expecting a, that yeah i did not expect I that wasn't either. yeah that was, yeah, so, that was hmm. i mean we were talking we were making the naruto references at like the whole time through like when he uh when he used the kind of eye technique on um, Hammy at first to, like, you know, stun her. And that was the whole, oh, he's got the Sharingan and the whole emotions thing is another <laughs> Uchiha problem. But then but then Jordan, you were like, oh, no, he's he's not Sasuke. He's Orochimaru. And I, and <laughs> when when the tongue and, and eyes thing, when that happened, it was like, yeah, I can see it now. Yeah. Uh, and, like... Um... Let's see. I want to talk a little bit more about like the good stuff on this thing. That little mm-hmm. uh, fuck. I don't even know what it's called. It's like half skirt thing. I've seen a oh, lot yeah, of snake based yeah. uh, characters have that thing. So it, I f- think it felt really well, but mm. it needed like his base suit actually needed some change to like. Oh, it did get some change. He has a big old eye in the center oh, of his chest. Yeah. No, like, as well, in, like no, I actually like that. Yeah, that no, I actually no. really the like. The eye that. needs to be implemented better, is the thing, because it now has like weird really? little things dangling off it for no reason. Does it? Why? Yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah, it's got weird oh. little like I don't even know how to describe like eyelashes or something. Gems? 
just hanging off them like little I don't know. they're like little rings and like they're tassels right yeah we're little oh, yeah, tassels yeah. with gems at the end of them yeah huh. the placement is like perfect because that's where they had their like cute tama shit yeah. going on yeah but i think like the armor itself needed to like change in shape to like accommodate you know everything yeah. around yeah. it you know like maybe a more triangular kind of thing with like a bigger chest mm-hmm. piece like that would have made everything else maybe fit better but i don't know i mean I'm honestly not, like, because designer, of so. because suddenly he has like <laughs> okay i guess it translated a little bit off of his his wardrobe that he suddenly transformed into at first which was like some kind of vampire type <laughs> <get up. laughs> yeah. it was it was just another rug from the tokusatsu rug store yeah <laughs> yeah that you could um, get uh, from DJ Sagara. Part of or that. Any of the tra- other rug merchants over at the Tokusatsu. I don't. Rug store. I don't know. It looked more uh, modern. You know, it didn't look like it came out like the you know two thousand years ago. Okay. Yeah, like <laughs> this guy. He reminds me of what's his face? That one space ninja from the Gavan movie. Oh, does he? Yeah, I think he's wearing like he? her, t- like her netting and stuff. Oh, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, you're right. Yeah, yeah. It kind of has that. I want to say ninja fish net on him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know. I that. How long do you guys suspect that this arc will stick? Six Three episodes. episodes. Three episodes? Jordan, that's very generous. I don't think that any is... art in Sentai yeah. has lasted six episodes. No. <laughs> oh. Wait, wait, no. <laughs> Not even finales <laughs> last that long. Yeah. Hmm. I feel like it'll last just as long as... Um... So, I, I think, like, the Naga arc is going to conclude before the, the time one is over. And then, for some reason, they're going to somehow pull... The rest of the rangers back in time to help them out i don't know the only reason the only reason i say six episodes is because it depends on how if they just go like okay we're just gonna take three episodes and we're gonna just focus completely on the time travel thing and then we'll just hop back to the you know the naga thing it'll be great oh you mean like as in in total by like the time in total it resolves, it's like six it's episodes be six total. episodes later mm-hmm. yeah rather than like how many episodes is actually going to focus on this arc. Yeah. Okay, so, okay. Yeah, yeah, just in total. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah, but, um, yeah. Uh, do you guys have anything else you want to talk about I for do. this episode? I do. Ah, um, yes, go for it. Garu's Mohawk. <sighs> Moving on. This yeah? stupid no. thing. <laughs> um, a little note on the ending, because I haven't been here for a while. I really like this version of it, compared to, like, the regular theme, the you know like the original one oh you know, yeah it has like like the beats are a bit you know better in this one yeah yeah is that it is that all you wanted that's, to say that's all yeah. that needs to be said yeah so mm-hmm. yeah all right yep. great okay guys that was great another episode in the bag um if you like this episode or if you like this video hit that like button if you want to tell us what you thought about this episode of uchi sentai key ranger tell us in the comments down below and also subscribe if you want to hear more from us each week uh also go into the links in the description down below because there's a freaking discord chat in there also the links to our socials and our individuals are all down in there uh, except for jordan because he's a poop (laughs) <laughs> Our individuals. Anyways, guys, thanks for listening. See ya. Bye. Later.